Tonight we're partying, but tomorrow we're running in the Grand Rapids Marathon. Make sure you make the video. We well, arrange this beautiful sunrise just for you. And if you look over the city right now, this is the best view in town. Now, or is this your first marathon? I understand, too. This, this is, is the first one. We're going to give it a try. 26 miles should be entertaining. What have you run before this? You've run Old Kent? Uh, that's the longest as far as competitive. So, going from 15 to 26, it's going to be entertaining. Right? You plan on getting right about 215, 216 today in your time? Well, I'll be pushing the leaders. Uh, I, I doubt that. But uh, no, we're going to give it a run, see what we can do. Ned Smith just paced the 314 group, and it was a big group. He got in just under 314. What was it like being out there with that? It was a good a good group. We had a large group. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell with the wind. The wind would kind of blow, and then it, you know, then we'd have it at our back. So it was kind of a yo-yo effect. But we had a great big group. We probably had 20 runners. Five or six of them hung on, got under the Boston qualifying standard. So um, it was great. I paced it with uh, Rich Henneman over here. He ran the first half. I ran the second half, and uh, it was a great, great day. Perfect temperature. Uh, great crowds. I mean, uh, beautiful new course. So it was a great day for uh, Grand Rapids Marathon. So we're here at the founder and race director of the Grand Rapids Marathon, and Don. Everybody's having a great time today. Tell us what you think so far. I think this is uh, just an outstanding event. We've had so many people excited coming in, telling how good the course was, how much they enjoyed it, and you know, a lot of smiles on people's faces. And we got the beautiful day. We, you know, the weather cooperated. Everything has come together. The staff that I've got here. Yeah, I've been able to just enjoy this morning because everybody that's on the staff is doing their job and doing a great, just a great job out there. We had some really hopping water stops and there's no question that people were laughing and talking all the way through the course. And from what I could see up to about five miles and uh, back the last two or three, it's a beautiful course. So congratulations on that. Thank you. We've, we're just looking forward to doing this again next year, October 29th, and we'll be out here again. And uh, I see lots of orange, and I expect that has something to do with Halloween, doesn't it? Well, yeah, it's uh, it's also our, our colors of our running circles uh, race sponsor. They're, that's one of their colors, and the Halloween thing worked out really good. We've got our black and orange uh, uh, pace team, our celebrity pace pace team going on out there. So uh, it's, it's it's working out real good, too. And I saw a lot of people wearing Baird t-shirts. R.W. Baird, one of our big sponsors, and they're back for the second year, and I think they'll be back again next year. And they put together a team and uh, got their t-shirts out there, and they're they're looking really good today. Looks like they turned out quite a good crew, so congratulations again. Thanks for talking with us. Thank you. It's been a lot of fun. Okay. We're here with the winner of the Grand Rapids Marathon, uh, who defended his title from last year. And you had a pretty good time today. You're way out in front of everybody else. Yeah, I, uh, I felt okay. It was um, The wind was a little windy but uh, other than that it's a beautiful day a good course and uh you know it's, a, it's all about who shows up so <laughs> well now um this is the second time you've run it what brings you back don kern he's a good race director and a good friend aha uh -huh. now you're all the way from illinois aren't you yes ma'am uh, about half an hour west of chicago and you're running all by yourself today is it kind of hard to do that yes <laughs> <laughs> well congratulations thanks for talking with us we have here the first woman who finished today's Grand Rapids Marathon, Heather Boss. Tell us what it was like out there today. It was pretty exciting. A great course, a beautiful day. I just had a lot of fun. I'm from Grand Haven, so this was pretty special coming back to Western Michigan um, for a marathon. So, Where are you living now? I live in Chicago. Oh, okay. So this is, this is coming home. Yeah, yeah. Take a picture for me. 
Beautiful shot. <laughs> Congratulations on your very first marathon. Tell us what it felt like out there. I, uh, I, I didn't respect it. Now I do. Uh, it hurt. It hurt bad. I mean, I must have walked five, six, seven times. I just shut down. Just couldn't run. The first, uh, the first ten miles was in an hour. So I was running right along, you know. And then that's just wrong to do. It's just absolutely wrong. And uh, I have a lot of respect now for 26.2, that's for sure. Good morning with their wonderful daughter. Thank you.